Hello, I'm Don Brown. I'm going to explain today how you can see 3D, three-dimensional video live on the uh, channel here. And there's two ways basically that you can watch 3D on the internet. One is using 3D glasses which look like this. One, the left lens would be a red and the right lens would be a cyan color which is a blue-green. And if you get a pair of these you can see the 3D effect on my channel here at Justin TV. And you can get those free by googling free 3D glasses and there'll be a couple places that you can send a stamped envelope and they'll send you a pair of free glasses or you might have some hanging around in a drawer somewhere in the house. And then the second way to see 3D is without glasses and it's called free viewing or natural viewing, parallel viewing and the idea is is that 3D uh, on, on the internet or anywhere actually is is taken with a 3D camera which has two lenses and so the left lens is taking the place of your left eye and the right lens is taking the place of your right eye and then when you see those two separate pictures your brain combines them and turns it into a 3D picture. And you can practice that effect and get an idea of how it works also by just taking a piece of paper and drawing a couple dots on the paper. And one would represent your left eye and one would represent your right eye. And then just without focusing on those dots, in fact focus out into the distance, the two dots will become three. At least your brain will think there are three there when there are actually two. So practice doing that. Take two dots about an inch apart and then just unfocus your eyes. That is, make believe you're looking out into the distance or out a window and you'll see a third dot appear in the middle. And once you can do that and see that third dot without any trouble, then you're ready to start seeing 3D on the channel here. Now I'll, I'll demonstrate that on my channel. Now, the first thing you need to do is uh, to make it easier on yourself go to your your screen, your video screen and you want to take your mouse and go down to where it says pop out down there at the bottom of the screen it says pop out and just press on that pop out screen and then you'll notice the screen pops out up at the top okay now you can you can size resize that screen and that's why we want to do that pop out is we want to make it about half size so just bring that screen down to about half size okay and that'll make it a lot easier on you and you can also move that screen around so you might want to move it like the center of the screen but the main thing is try to make that pop out screen about half size alright now the next thing is is I'm gonna throw up a what they call a side-by-side -side picture in 3D and what that is is the, the camera is taking a picture for the left eye and the, the right camera is taking a picture for the right eye. Okay, so this is what it will look like. So you can see you have two different pictures that look the same but they're actually slightly different because they're taken from two different angles by the two different lenses. Alright, so using that that same principle that you practiced on the piece of paper with the two dots, you want to kind of move up a little closer to the screen and then just stare out into the distance or do not focus your eyes. Make believe you're looking through the computer or out in the distance, out a window, so that your eyes are not focused. And if your eyes are relaxed, you'll see a third picture pop out in the middle between those two. Just kind of look in the general direction of the center of the two pictures and then a third picture will pop out. And once it pops out, it'll be in 3D, third dimension, three-dimensional. It'll be real obvious because you'll start seeing things like this uh, radio here will be forward of me. You'll see the piece of paper pop way out like it's going through your screen. 
and you'll see stuff back in the background that'll be obviously back in the background. And if you've got an object that goes up next to the 3D camera, it'll appear to pop through your screen as well. So the idea is you want to practice, first of all, using your piece of paper to make those two dots into three dots, and then try using an example like this where I have a 3D side-by-side -side picture, and then just look in the middle of it and relax your eyes until you see a third picture right in the middle that'll pop out into 3D. Now you might see actually a fourth image in there, and that means your eyes aren't quite relaxed. They're a little bit relaxed, but not quite enough. So the idea is to get all those images to converge into a middle image, and that will be in 3D. And then once you get the hang of that, you can actually move your eyes uh, all over. You can look at the left image and the right image and the middle image, and you can see how the left and the right one are not in 3D. They're in just two-dimensional. But the third one will definitely be in three dimensions, and you'll see things like this coming through the screen. So that's uh, how to practice so you can see 3D, and then you can uh, come in here and we'll play around with some live 3D side-by-side uh, -side pictures like this, and you don't need any glasses to see them. So good luck and have fun practicing at, uh, in the uh, evening. Uh, after I stop broadcasting live, I usually put on a side-by-side -side 3D picture similar to this so you can practice it somewhere usually around 8 o'clock at night or so until about 11 o'clock at night so you can have plenty of time you can practice those side-by-side -side images. And that's three-dimensional viewing. I'm Don Brown. See you later.